It's a mysterious landscape. Thick jungle, mist-shrouded mountains, a land where King Kong could live, and in fact does. Central Africa's Virunga Volcanoes, home to the mountain gorilla, one of the most impressive creatures on Earth. And this woman from Seattle is fighting for their survival. Well, they're highly endangered. There's only 786, I believe, in the world. In 2001, Dr. Jody Garby landed her dream job as mountain gorilla veterinarian in Rwanda. So how did someone from Seattle end up with this faraway gig? Just by uh, being the luckiest person in the world. But it also helped that Garby holds degrees in law from the University of Washington and veterinary medicine from Washington State. A superb background for managing both gorilla health and the policies that protect them. We were responsible for the gorillas in Congo, in Rwanda, and in Uganda, which is, of course, the only place that they exist. So wherever the need was, we would go. An adult male silverback can weigh nearly 600 pounds and stand over six feet tall. Yet these gentle plant eaters tolerate human visitors almost daily to their territory. To see these animals close up in their natural surroundings is a thrill beyond description. Amazing. My heart was beating, <laughs> especially when they came out to us. Is the walk back to the car as hard as I don't have words here. Oh, it was wonderful. There was just nothing like it. I've never been so impressed. It was so worth the climb that nearly killed me. They are enormously exciting animals. It's an excitement that is unparalleled in, in my experience. They're very much the gentle giants. Now, the boys do like to posture and bluff and scare you a lot, but they actually don't do anything. Knowing their gentle nature makes it all the more tragic when Jody talks about losing two gorillas to poachers. One young female on her first baby, and she was actually shot right through the heart. And her companion, who was an older gorilla who'd had five babies, she was stabbed with a bamboo pole, and she subsequently uh, passed away. Thankfully, poaching isn't the problem it used to be, but humans still pose the biggest threat. Rwanda is the most densely populated country in Africa, and new farms are continuously encroaching on the gorilla's habitat. Oh, and this is the border now. This was the border, okay? Several years ago, Jody decided to leave her vet job, believing she could better protect gorillas and other critters through education. <laughs> she founded Rwanda Now, a multifaceted outreach located in the hills outside of Kigali. It's an animal sanctuary, an organic farm, and learning center. The goal is to engage and teach the Rwandese people how to care for animals and the land. Saving the environment, saving wildlife, saving habitat is all really a local issue. It's Rwandese that make the decisions, irrespective of what the rest of us would like in terms of saving wildlife. It's the people day to day that do the farming, that grow all of the food, that have the, the businesses. They're the ones that make the decisions really about their own country and about their own wildlife. So it's really important that they become become advocates of their own wildlife. To help empower women, Rwanda now created a women's farming cooperative. Jody came up with a unique idea involving these goats. The women's cooperative will raise the goats, we will buy the milk from the women's cooperative and make yogurt and cheese, and that will help in our funding stream and it will create entrepreneurs within the women's cooperative. Progress can typically be slow in Africa, and Rwanda now's programs are still developing. Future plans include a veterinary clinic and the creation of lots of new jobs, especially for people with disabilities. Jody says they are heavily marginalized in Rwanda, yet they have the best touch with the animals. And you can see there aren't very many gorillas left. Jody rarely gets back to Seattle these days, but when home, she enjoys sharing her mission with school kids. Oh, it's a very challenging situation because we have lost habitat for the uh, national parks. 
And when feeling the need for a big ape connection, Jody checks in with the lowland gorillas at the Woodland Park Zoo. Oh my goodness. You guys really do have short hair. And you're kind of young, too. Dr. Jody Garvey is proving that one person's passion can have a major impact. Her goal now is to preserve all of Rwanda's biodiversity. And in that process, it's people, too. But it started here with a magnificent mountain gorilla. The world exists for more than just humans, so it's important that everybody become involved. We have an opportunity to maintain a species that would otherwise be lost if nobody did anything about it, and it's, it's very achievable. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel, or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.